Hello everyone, I'm RJ Turcotte for the Nantucket Land Council and today we're going to be talking about the Nantucket Land Council's new green crab molting program. So we're going to talk about the equipment we use and what we're trying to accomplish. We're going to start with the equipment. So this is a lobster car which in the commercial fishing industry is just a big plastic container that floats on the surface and it has holes in the side to allow fresh water or fresh seawater to flow through keeping alive your crabs or your lobsters or your bait fish or whatever you need. Usually it gets tied off to a commercial fishing boat or just to a docker pier. We happen to be tying ours this year, our very first green crab condo as these are called, to the fish hatchery pier, the shellfish hatchery pier. So let's take a look inside this one. So it says NLC on the lid. The lid has flotation in it and when you push it open lid out of the way, you get into the actual green crab condos, which are just wire oyster cage and oyster mesh, and inside the cage is divided into individual cells to hold the green crabs, because green crabs are cannibalistic, and if one of them molts on us and we don't get it in time, its brothers and sisters will eat it. So. We have individual cells that are numbered so you can keep track of each crab. This crab condo is bungeed shut. A couple of bungee hooks just like an oyster cage is. And all it does is pop open and voila. You have your green crabs in their molting containers. So this is your standard European green crab that we'll find off of the shores of Nantucket and the trick is figuring out when they're going to molt. So we're holding them in the crab condos and in individual little holding cells underwater and feeding them because they won't molt unless they're well fed. But the trick about telling whether a crab like this is going to molt is looking at underneath the carapace and figuring out if it's starting to lose some of its color and it looks like lines are forming where the legs meet the carapace because that means that the internal crab is starting to move away from its original exoskeleton. And if I turn it over, the very back side of the crab here actually gets soft and crabs back out of their own exoskeleton when they're molting. So it'll back straight out of there leaving a perfect shell of a crab and that'll be a soft shell crab. So once we get an idea of when green crabs are molting and develop an eye for picking out the crabs we catch that are molting from the harbors, we're hoping at the Land Council to teach everyone else here on Nantucket to, to also identify green crabs that are preparing to molt so that everyone can enjoy soft shell green crabs. It's a great way to, to control a harmful invasive species because they're harmful to our eelgrass and our shellfish and hopefully help the economy a little bit through a new fishery, through a green crab fishery and using an invasive species. So that's the goal. We're trying to get as many people to help us out as possible. So if you're interested in volunteering and helping us figure out when these green crab molts, um, reach out to me. You can email me or call the Land Council office and we'd love to have you.